Hi, this is Monty from Moat Park Vehicles and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just recently come into us. This is our 2012 Citroen DS5. It's the 1.6 eHDI EGS, which is the electronic gear selection, so like a semi-automatic, and it's in the D-Style specification. So they do a D-Sport and a D-Style. So this is the D-Style variant, but a real high specification car what I class as a lot of, I don't know, bang for your buck really. Uh, so you've got front and rear parking sensors, navigation, uh, half leather interior, auto lights, auto wipers, panoramic glass roof, privacy glass, uh, reversing camera. Now the reversing camera on this one, sometimes it flickers uh, if you've been driving for a while, but nine times out of 10 works absolutely fine, but I just thought I'd mention that to you. So the reasons behind these videos, it's all about trust, honesty, integrity. We try and tell you how it is. Uh, so when you kind of have a look at the car, um, it should be as I've described. Now bear in mind guys, she's covered just under 60,000, so 59,000 odd. Uh, she is, what, a nine year old car now? So please, or nearly nine years of age, eight and a half. So please, please, please don't expect a brand new car when you come to have a look at it. Uh, I'll try and point everything out to you on the vehicle. Now the videos are not done just to knock our cars or anything like that. It'll just tell you everything about it. Uh, you know, this isn't designed that we just, you know, pick holes in our vehicles. No, not at all. We'll just tell you what we've done, what we've got to do, what's been done, stuff like that on the car itself. Now she is in pearlescent white. Now, um, a pearl, yes, yeah, so I'm not too sure how it's going to come across in this. It's quite a creamy colour, but looking at the camera at the moment, it looks quite bluey, but it's not. It's more creamy, really. Uh, now, apologies, I am in a public park. There are an awful lot of cars going up and down today. I'm not too sure what's going on. There might be some sort of kids' club on. That doesn't sound too healthy. Diesel there. Sounds like the timing chain's not too clever on it. Uh, anyway. Uh, I digress. So yeah, you've got lots of extras on this particular car and I'll try and go through them as much as I possibly can. But apologies, I'm not too sure if it's the lighting, or I say lighting, uh, I'm in a park, but it looks a bit bluey in here, but it's definitely more of a pearlescent uh, color on the car. All right, so let's start off on the front. So as I mentioned, she's covered about 60,000 miles, just under 60,000 miles. Uh, now what, we did have, we did have, I think there was a couple of trolley dents. The main one, not a trolley dent, there was a slightly bigger dent around here. We've had that addressed, but it's never ever gonna go away. When you sort of like re look really closely, uh, you'll see just a few, just a few marks, nothing major at all. I'll be honest with you, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't know, but the best bit about it is when people come have a look at the cars, the first thing they come and have a look at is what I've pointed out. So there was a bit of a dent around this sort of swage bit here, uh, uh, but we've had that addressed. Now, I have, um, I have ordered a touch-up stick for this car, but we've also got a guy coming down to do a couple of bits and pieces, mainly the mirror cap on the driver's side, and I'll show you that very shortly. So along the front of the car, all looks good. You've got a few little stone chips here and there, but they, have been, they will be touched up, but nothing major. Alloy wheels look absolutely fine. Uh, looks like they've been refurbished before or something like that. You've got a slight couple of little bits of corrosion behind, but nothing major. There's no nasty digs in the, the wheels or anything like that. Show you down the side of the car. Hopefully that looks all good to you. So this is the mirror casing that we're going to have repainted. All right, looks like someone's had a bit of a uh, lash up there, but that is going to be addressed. Let's just show you down the side of the car. Now, the ice cream man's coming past me. There and hopefully if you can look down the side of the car, you've got some really good reflections, no dulling of paint or anything like that. Now there were a couple of more trolley dents around here. And there was a couple of tiny little marks left over from when they've got the dents out, but nothing major, all right? Again, this is just trying to be honest with our customers when they can't have a look at the car. It should be as I've described. Now let's just show you inside now. As I mentioned, you've got panoramic glass roof in this car. 
and it is sort of quite unique how it there we go we've got another one coming up now let's just show you it sort of splits up and you've got two sections there and you've got one section right at the back and then you've got a blind that comes across as well there's the old son of his man so 59,864 miles I've covered that's the mileage I've covered in the car so far 107 I think it was been absolutely fine half leather interior as I mentioned so leather and then you've got this kind of I don't know it's really, I don't think it is Alcantara it might be but the unfortunate thing with Alcantara which is not the greatest thing when you do swipe it it tends to make all kind of weird patterns on it all your electric window switches etc the automatic uh, lever there navigation screen you've got bluetooth connectivity um, all your functionality you're ever going to need is all on there climate control air conditioning electric mirrors folding mirrors mentioned auto wipers auto headlamps paddle shifts on the back of the steering wheel lots and lots of toys actually let me just open up the boot briefly because it's done off of there we go let's open up the boot so you can have a look inside the boot pretty big boot you've got 60 40 split seats at the back there uh, you've got a guard that previous owners put in rear parking sensors on the vehicle they all work absolutely fine and that all looks good here as well show you down the rest of it actually let me just show you the other wheel as I mentioned looks like they've been refurbished at one stage before wow well, this is going to be a long video apologies I'm going to try and zip through the last minute minute and a half hopefully you can try and pick up some good reflections believe me it is for the age of the car the mileage of the car uh, it's in it's in pretty good condition a nice condition um, no I got so it's nicer than that to be fair not just nice it is in really good condition but again that's just my opinion you might have a slightly different opinion again I mentioned about this kind of Alcantara looks like you've got loads of marks and stuff like that but it's you swipe your hands across it and it looks slightly different there's that back part of the panoramic glass screen if you've never been in one of these cars at night it looks like an aircraft fighter with all the switches and lights and god knows what else everywhere good service history with this car as well just as i'm looking at the uh, the book pack from memory I could be wrong here i think there was Look, from memory I think there's about six services completed on this particular car hopefully that all looks good there's a bit of a scratch in that center console that's just there but again it's just about being honest with our customers you know a lot of a lot of you guys will know it's not gonna be a brand new car uh, as I mentioned earlier on she's eight and a half years of age it's gonna have some sort of wear and tear on the vehicle but I just want to point them out to you so we've all been there we've seen something stunning on the <laughs> online pictures look absolutely great go and have a look at the car nothing like you thought it was going to be it's probably like a lot of people's instagram photographs and dating profiles or, or facebook really but we just want to sort of give you the bare you know truth about the cars so um i mentioned that we're going to have that mirror cap uh, addressed where well, it looks like someone's uh, touched it up there there are a, where we had that sort of slightly larger dent over here we've got a couple of little touch-ups to do but they are going to be done just I'm going away on holiday and I'm just trying to get as many uh, vehicles uploaded as possible we've had a couple of inquiries on this car already and a few people have asked me about photographs so I just want to wrap up now we're coming up to 10 minutes apologies apologies it's taken so long 
Uh, if you're interested in this car or anything else at Mo Park Vehicles, give me a call, send me an email, send me a text message. I'll get back to you as I possibly can, as quickly as I possibly can. Just to let you know, all of our cars come with uh, six months warranty included. You can upgrade that warranty for another £149. Uh, and that gives you a claim limit of uh, £2,000 over that uh, 12-month period. Or you can upgrade it again to give you a claim limit of the cost value of the car. So if you buy a car for 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, that's what the claim limit on the warranty works out at. That works out at 249 pound. So I want to thank you again for your time and persevering with it. Apologies uh, for babbling on too much. Take care, bye-bye.